What's up, YouTube? It's another fantastic week. It's Monday, and it's gonna be cool, or awesome, or great, or swell, or whatever you wanted to say, or whatever I wanna say, right? Well, I'm running around with my head chopped off today because I'm trying to get this rental car back to the airport, and then I got my company vehicle in finally, yes! So I'm gonna take an Uber or a Lyft to pick up my rental car, then I'm going back to the airport, and then I'm flying to Mobile, Alabama at 3.35 today. And I'm gonna be down in Alabama all week working with gas and supply. I'm gonna bring you with me. You're gonna enjoy this week with me, if you like it or not. So stay tuned, adios. I'm gonna eat this ham sandwich because I'm starving. See ya. Got my Ford, woo woo. Time to head to the airport, let's get out of here. to my hotel in Mobile, Alabama. Tomorrow is gonna make another great day because we are training a new partner of ours called Gas and Supply, or I should say Southern Gas and Supply. And the official time is, what is it? 8.38 Central. Long day, looking forward to tomorrow. Adios. It was a cold and dreary Tuesday afternoon here in Alabama at Gas and Supply. Check out what they have in store for you. I'm gonna bring you through their storefront, how they fill cylinders, what industry and what service they can provide you as an end user, so stay tuned. One of the things I always look at when I go to some of our partners is their core values. Cause I'm a firm believer, if you don't have core values, really what's the direction and the ethics of a company. So look at the core values of gas and supply. So act with integrity, exceed customer expectations, work as a team, stay able, agile and innovative, improve continuously, it's big. And their vision, what's their vision? to make it so easy to do business with us that no alternatives are considered. I guess in supply they stock inventory for their end customers and walk-in traffic. And it's just not inventory at these warehouses. It's massive inventory. Check out all this welding wire and abrasives and consumables in these mezzanines. They even have water up there for their customers. So they stock water for their customers. But this is one of their main distribution warehouses. You can see the pallets of wire, and it's mezzanine after mezzanine after mezzanine. So this is one of the reasons why you as an end customer should buy your gas and your consumables and your abrasives from Gas and Supply because they will inventory it for you, for sure. Keeps going and going, people. Doesn't stop. They literally have I don't know how many mezzanines of wire and consumables for their customers, crazy. Awesome. I'm here with Tracy Morley from Gas and Supply down here in Theodore, Alabama. And for all of you that don't know anything about welding gas, welding gas like myself, I'm interested in how they get it here and then how they fill up that little bottle that you come in and get for your 7525 or your Argon. So he's gonna run us through the paces and show us everything and anything about filling gas cylinders and how it works. This is our bulk storage tank. We have nitrogen, argon, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. They're in a liquid state. Um, they get filled by my bulk transport trucks. They come in, they have 24 hour access. They, uh, they, all of them are what they call telemetry, mm -hmm. which is kind of like an automated um, system. It's kind of like your gas gauge on your vehicle. When it reaches a certain level, it automatically sends my bulk supplier an email saying, hey, it's low, it needs filling. That's where all the process starts. Then, uh, these are, it comes through here, comes through a pump, 
that's what it, it liquid comes in and it pumps it into a vaporizer and gas comes out a lot of customers use bulk liquid argon uh, bulk nitrogen this and that and other these are filled here now it's just has a direct line liquid okay this is the same product that's in there the good thing what what uh, these are all filled by weight um we have a it's kind of like a calculation sheet mm -hmm. we know how much product goes in here for it to be full so this is we the put scale it on the scale the good thing about my system is i can so you have oxygen nitrogen argon you click it to whatever you're wanting you punch in your weight you turn it on and it feels that exact weight what would be some of the reasons why like an end customer would go with like one of the liquid tanks versus like bottles but the difference is if you have say you have multi multiple stations multiple mm -hmm. welders um you don't want to waste time downtime changing out a bottle all the time this has a lot more product in it than a high pressure cylinder Mm -hmm. And if you got multiple guys or, or a guy that's doing a lot, he don't want to have to change out a lot, you mm -hmm. know, waste his time. So this is a better, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like a better um, situation mm -hmm. for them. Some like them, some don't. They both have their positives and negatives. Um, the negative side is when it, it, it's constantly building pressure to provide pressure for the end user. If you're not using it, it's going to build pressure and it's going to pop off. Oh, so it's going to waste. So you got waste if you're not you continuously using it. You lose one it. to two percent per day okay. on a doer. A high pressure bottle, once you fill it, mm -hmm. it keeps that in there for indefinitely right. until you use it all up. So like I see that there's larger bottles, right. smaller bottles. Right. So is there like four different sizes? Yeah, this is a 300 cubic foot cylinder bottle. That means it holds 300 cubic feet of product. A while ago, we was talking about pressure. Pressure has nothing to do with cubic foot. Um, cubic foot is how much product is in it. When it reaches that pressure, it's going to have that much cylinder. I mean, uh, product in it. This cylinder here is what we call a 80 cubic foot. Mm -hmm. Those cylinders over here are what we call a 200 cubic foot. They range 200, 210, 220 but they're all about that size cylinder. As you hit that, you hit it, it highlights it. You hit run formula. You've done that. You inspect it. When you hit inspect it, it hits your vent. You hit go. It asks you, do you want to do banks or cylinders? The only other manual thing is you turn this valve on for to fill banks, which is back behind there, or this one on to fill cylinders. If you do, you hit yes, then you hit go. Mm -hmm. And then it does all that by, it does everything automated. How, how long does it take to fill a, a large bottle like this? It takes about 30 to 40 minutes. Per cylinder. Per 15 cylinders. Okay. You hook up 15 or 16 at mm -hmm. a time. 30 to 40 minutes to fill one of these cylinders. Yeah. And I'm guessing a lot of you that are watching this video, you probably think you can roll a cylinder in like this and fill it in literally like 30 seconds. It's not right. the case. Let's say I brought a, a gas cylinder in. Do you do like trade-ins? Is it faster to like do a swap of the gas if bottle? It's, if they it? have a customer on cylinder, we'll, we will take their cylinder and give them one of the same size okay. of a customer on cylinder. Yeah, but if it's their own, you don't do it. If it's their own and they want their own bottle back, then they'll they'll have to wait for us to fill it. There is a life of a cylinder, yes, right? And there is. you gotta get them hydro tested to make sure right. they hold pressure. Right. This was probably the original uh, stamp on the cylinder, which was February of 03. Okay. A plus means that this cylinder is rated for 10% overfill, which when you're doing uh, the older style, you can, um, you're allowed a little bit to fill it over. The star, if it has a star on it, then it is a 10 year retest date. If it does not have a star on it, then it's a five year test date. So this cylinder went out of test in 2013. Okay, and it, it, it may have been out of customer, but then it was sent back 
retested in January 2017. It has the star, so this cylinder is good until January 2027. Make sure you check this out on your bottle. Somebody doesn't want liquids, they could go to a six pack six cluster pack or a 12 pack, pack cluster. cluster. Yeah. And the benefit of this over liquids would be you don't have the runoff. You don't have the blow off for, for okay. per day. The the downside to it is the they're bulky, you know, mm -hmm. hard to deal with. You can't hardly un you have to have some sort of equipment to unload most of these. Mm -hmm. You got to do anything with like the uh, adjusting any of these, so like, or does it go one cylinder you to the can next? Do them either way, you can. You can hook up your line to this, your regulator, flow meter, whatever, and you can either start with this one, turn it on, use it. When it gets done, turn it off, turn this one on. Okay. You can do it that way, or you can hook it up and you can turn them all on at one time. You're gonna have the same amount of pressure, same amount, it's just gonna draw out of all of them at one time, and then when it's empty, it's empty. Made it to Dauphin Island. No, 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 not Dolphin Island. Dolphin Island, south of Mobile. You've heard of Dolphin Island. Well, it's a little island. You got to take this bridge across. It's a pretty long bridge. It's pretty cool. Looks like it's more of like a residential island too. So it's not like resorts. Resort heavy. You can see the ocean behind me. It's a cold day. I picked the wrong week to be down in. <laughs> Yeah, 43 degrees. This place is pretty cool. I want to check this place out in the summertime. Let's, let's see some of the, the highlights here in Dolphin Island. now entering four gains with me. Uh, I don't even know if you have to pay. Yeah, you gotta pay to get in here. No! I wanted to see if I could get in here for free. Can you imagine living on this island and having to live on this beach? No, can't imagine it. Too cool. Yeah, it's a little windy, a little cold, but in the summertime, this beach right here, awesome. Can't imagine living on the stills, but I'm definitely gonna come check out Dauphin Island in the summertime. See ya. Yo, everybody, it's Thursday, and we're down here in Bayou La Battery. I think that's what, how it's pronounced. We're gonna ask one of these guys here at Gas and Supply if it is Bayou La Battery, but I think it is. How do you pronounce this town? Mobile. No, we're not uh, Mobile. Bayou La Battery. Yeah, I was right. We're here at Gas and Supply from 11 to 2 today. We are doing some demo days on some Fronius professional welding tools. We're showing all of them, so you better come here and buy some. But if you're watching this video, it's too late. But you can come later on and buy it and still get the same deals, maybe. Who knows? Maybe they can work something with you. But uh, not only that, look at this. I'm rocking a new Doug's welding cap. I know you're jealous. Let's go in here and see what gas and supplies rocking in their storefronts. When you're down in this area, you can stop and shop locally.
down here in the bayou, they have their own uh, warranty repair center. So if you do have welding equipment like this, or like this beat up sinker wave, you see it right here, they got it all ripped apart. Um, or other machines, you can bring it here and they can troubleshoot it, fix the problem, and have you up and going in no time. <laughs>